Stella and sensational with all this tech. Mm -hmm. Now we have the other end of the spectrum and we have Wayne Taylor and Lauren from Tailored Images. Yeah. So, <laughs> after perhaps. Now Wayne has been in the industry for how many years? Oh, uh, Tailored Images, 18. But you yourself are oh. a lot longer than that. Yes, yeah. 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 So around a lot years. longer, so when Tony was saying before he doesn't do the conferences, he doesn't do the accommodation and the bookings and things like this, this is where Wayne and Lauren really excel with really fantastic, complex, um, mostly medical conferences, Yes. Yeah. 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 So they are going to share with you what they know, at least some of it. You'll get a snip. Right. You can't put all of it in one hour. No. Thank you. <laughs> Unlike Tony, our world is totally glamorous. We go out to dinner all the time. We travel. We go to the best hotels. We sleep in. We go to bed early. We have massages. We go on all the tours. And that's a lot of crap. Okay. Tony hit a, a very strong point about the hours that you put in. You've selected this industry for a reason. Okay, or interested in this industry for a reason. <coughs> what are some of the reasons that this industry interests you? Is it the travel? Experience. Experience. Yeah. Diversity. Diversity. Networking. Networking. You're your own person. A person. I like the diversity side of it, where you get to meet, meet, meet all different people from all different areas and, and, and learn from them and what the, what they can offer to you as a bit from a business, other businesses and all that sort of stuff. That's what I like about the men's side of things. Right. Has anybody here experienced um, an event, firstly on any organisational level, being there, getting their hands dirty? Okay. So you have an idea and an understanding of what's actually involved with doing an event. I think experience. Yeah. I think probably running an event, the most important thing you need is support. Okay? Now that's through your staff, through colleagues, through the, 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 the multitude of channels that you're going to work through to get from the conceptual stage to the end result. There has got to be clear channels and clear guidelines to follow so you can't deviate. You have to have a thorough understanding or a picture in your mind of how the event or the end result will be. <clears throat> so many organisations start off, they look at the initial stages and becomes very complex and Tony is here he, he, he understands the complexity of what his side of the fence is ours is as well number one two you always always need an outstanding AB organization and person and a tech in the 18 years that Tailored Images has been going we have had a relationship with an audiovisual, but we call him our manager. He's an independent company, but he is on every event. He knows me, how I operate. He knows how Lauren operates. He knows what our clients expect, and he can uh, preempt. So there's a lot of things that you've got to get your network happening beforehand, and that's with your mates, with your colleagues, with your clients and very, very, very much so, and probably one of the most paramount, is your suppliers. Yes. Because when the proverbial hits the fan, we all rally together for that one, one common goal, and that is the, the, the success of the, of the event, regardless of what can go, and stuff goes wrong. There's no question about it. And if you can walk away with one thing today, no matter what you're doing in relation to, if you don't, if you decide that this industry is not for you, if you decide to enter it and go deep, deep end first, 
always remember, we are, we are there to serve one person, that's the client. Who likes being told what to do? There are ways to be told what to do. I agree, 100%, perfect. However, when a situation's happening, we don't necessarily have the niceties. Mm. Okay, so none of us really like to be told what to do. But in this industry, that's what it's all about. You're being pulled from client, their support, the next speaker, uh, the venue, something goes wrong, um, you know, laptop breaks, blah, blah, blah. But that's all the, that's, that, that's not my, my, my <coughs> domain. However, at the end of the day, as the organiser, or as the conference management company, we are ultimately responsible for the third party suppliers as well. Because everything reflects back on to, to this one individual. We've been appointed by a client, for example, to do an event. We can't do everything. We, you know, a lot of organisations try to do that, but they lose focus on, 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 on certain aspects. So we don't pretend to be um, audiovisual. We don't pretend to be printers. We don't pretend to be travel agents. We don't pretend to um, be caterers. What we do do, though, and very well, is baffle them with bullshit because we can get it all happening. And it comes back to us. And that's what it's about. But the relationships are vital, absolutely vital. But when something goes wrong with that event, it would all fall back on you, though. Absolutely, because yeah. you're you, you you are the one. You're the, you're the first. In charge. Yeah, but that's where the relationship, and, and it's great that Tony's yeah. here. We, you know, we've had ele elements that have gone a little bit pear shaped okay? But it's understanding the individual's emotions, understanding the pressure. For example, we all have to go for a wee, go for a poo, eat, drink, okay, throughout the day. Sometimes the audiovisual director does not have a chance to even have a cup of coffee. Okay, you think about it, when we're, when we're on the desk and we're doing the, 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 the flow of the, of the day, the first thing that happens in the morning is that the speakers must, in theory, and I inverted commas, must supply us or the audiovisual director with their presentations. As, I say, as Malou said, we do medical conferences, so it's really quite focused and precise on them having their, their bells and whistles to make them look good, um, and as a support, the audiovisual manager makes them look good because they have to test their programs, embedded videos, etc., etc., etc. They're hit from the morning, right, yeah, okay. where they're at least an hour before the doors even open. And that can be before breakfast, because we often have in our, set up in our, our business formula, we have breakfast within the trade exhibition area. So that's a different avenue and another extension of, of the entire, um, say, process and the entire event or a conference. So for example, the audio visual manager will be there at six o'clock, he'll be there at six o'clock. The doors may open for breakfast at seven, the first presentations at eight. So we already had two hours up before, or two hours on the desk beforehand. That doesn't you know, include letting glamorous before you have to start the day. So an hour beforehand, allow an hour. So five o'clock you might start. And this is just a normal day. It's not like the productions or anything that, that, that Tony does. So you might be up at five o'clock on the desk at six. Or your visual manager, because you're checking everything as well. It's check, 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 and another check, check, check. And you communicate and you work with a team. So the audio visual manager will take the, the, um, the, the first clients and the, everybody wants to have theirs at the first time. And you have to have systems, as I said. With the systems that we have, anybody that's going to be presenting will have the first window. Okay, and usually in a block, as we all know, retention is limited basically to about two hours. Otherwise, then we start getting a bit dizzy in the head and bored and what have you. So <coughs> you will have a 8 till 10, morning refreshments, till 10.30, 10.30 to 12.30, and then lunch, and so on, and the afternoon session. So for you've got to, uh, on average, you'll have, say, a presentation might be 15 minutes. So that audio-visual manager is going to get hit straight away for four, eight people minimum before his day even, you know, 
before the, this happens and it goes on screen. So he'll get hit from that. Then while other presentations are happening on, he gets wound in to do the next load and the next load and the next load. So you've got to make sure that you are aware. And I think probably being aware and being able to manage and juggle a number of balls at any one time. Because you've got to have your head open to things that can potentially go wrong. Yeah. And that's not necessarily your fault. It could be a venue fault. It could be the speaker doesn't rock up. You know, there, there, there's a number of things. So, um, you know, there's, there, there, as I say, there's a number. So, Lauren has been with me. She's um, studied business management. Business management. And I majored in event management. Yep. She's been with me for 10 years. So, either I'm doing something very, very wrong or something very, very right <laughs> to keep Lauren. In this industry, it's hard, hard work. It might look glamorous, and you know, to a certain degree, yeah, we have a very good, very good job. We do go and we do travel, but you're away from home. You're away from your family. You're away from your kids. You're away from your comfort zone. So you've got to go out of your comfort zone a lot of the time. You're with people that you don't necessarily really like. But because you're employed, and that all you do is look at them as your boss for the event. <coughs> okay? um, you know, with, as I say, I've had my own business for many years, and it, it appears that it's great, you've got the freedom to come and go and do whatever you like, whenever you like. Maybe so, but on the same token, I have never, ever, ever had so many bosses in my entire life in a very short period of time because everybody wants a piece of you. Whether you're working on one, you know, one event, and God forbid this wonderful thing called the mobile will ring and you've got to talk to somebody else about an event that's happening in three months time or two years time, you gotta, your head is go, 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 go. So energy is one thing that you really need. You re and although you may feel like rubbish, you smile and you glide on that floor. Always glide on the floor. I always say, we might look like swans and we're gliding on the floor and everything's happening, but by God, we're ducks and we're paddling like shit to get there. Okay? So have that philosophy. Have that mentality. Another thing too, although we are not servants and nobody's a servant, you must remember to have a servant mentality when you're dealing with your clients or dealing with an event because you are there to serve them. As when we all go out and we experience, we go out for dinner, we go you know, in a taxi, whatever it is, the person that you've engaged is, all, is there to serve you. <coughs> now, sometimes we've had great experiences, but I can guarantee you everybody in this room has also had bad experiences. But just remember to, to have that mentality, we've got to serve, we're here to serve, we're here to serve, we're here to serve. We don't sit back and wait for them to come to us. We go out and we sniff them. We go out and we make sure we're following around, we're making sure that every element that is our responsibility, and sometimes not even our responsibility, but we take it because we have pride, we work as a team, we can preempt what's going to go.